victory and we are ready to go racing when the five lights go out. As Patrick Simon says, the power will be unleashed and Mikhail Amamola immediately dives to the outside of the track, which will give him the perfect line into uh, turn number one. Larry Tenvorder already in trouble and we've got Carlos Rivas and one other car involved in a skirmish at the back there. So they go through the uh, faster iteration now of uh, turn number one. It's a lot of Porsche cars in the Carrera Cup for 2018. What a season it's going to be. And uh, the season is underway. The one thing that probably doesn't surprise from pole position, Mikhail Amamuller converts that into the race lead. And that very comfortable, so he knows all the right speed to go through the first corners, have the right temperature and the tyres, while Carlos Rivas already parked the number six Porsche Carrera from Black Falcon Racing alongside um, the pit exit at start-finish end. That must be the most frustrating thing in the world, Patrick, to see your race over before one lap has already been completed. Larry Tenvorder, of course, right at the start, lost out to a place, and so he finds himself in P4 rather than in P3. He was the rookie champion in the Carrera Cup last year. Uh, Mikel Amamula leads from uh, the number 68 car of uh, Robert Lucas, the fourth racing car. Project One, of course, well represented, as well as a number of other cars, and a couple of uh, made contact there. And that that is one of the Porsche racing cars. That's Stefan Oshman. And Stefan Oshman then is out on the grass. Now, if he can get the car recovered from there, fine. If he can't, Patrick, that will be an inevitable safety car, won't it? Yeah, we have to find out. Um, start finish seems to be clear after this incident. We see Rivas go backwards yes. in, into the pit area. And um, there were another car involved. Maybe we find out that later. But we have to wait what's going on on the back straight with the Stefan Oshman car. Be six or seven tenths of a margin, and all of a sudden it's gone, hasn't it? Yeah, that's a. Uh it's part of the game, you already know it, it makes no sense to really argue about that. We see the start and the replay from the back end, mm. and we saw that incident between um, the Black Falcon car. Which was the Carlos Rivas car, wasn't it? Uh, maybe we can find out some more from this position. It was Rivas with a very good he start, dived, so yes. he drive in the middle the silver and yellow striped car, and then there was a little touch. Oh, it's hard to find out from here. Yeah. but. You know, it's it's not that you point on somebody. It's Ertl who's involved. Yes, the car right. we just seen coming out of the pit lane. And I wonder, here, let's see if we can see it from the Jean Schmidt starter car. Um, or whether it was... Uh, mm. yeah, start incident, normal, no? it happens. Adrenaline pump in, Patrick. No, you know, if you, if, you, if you catch a good start like Rivas did, while we see the other uh, story on the, back, on the back stretch, which was himself produced spin um, if you have a good start like Rivas did um, for sure you drive in the inside and then it, it, it happens that, that two three cars you know tighten up and then it, it could be possible that you have a little slightly touch 